Viv Klingbill is an appreciative, appreciative observer and sharer of all things nature, who has a healthy obsession with trail cameras. A mom and an accountant, she is happiest outside hiking, skiing, or gardening. Please welcome Viv Klingbill. This is probably not who you would want to run into on a walk through the woods. Thanks to my unusual hobby of trail cameras, I get to regularly see images like this. Trail cameras take photos when motion and heat are sensed. For me, they've become a wonderful and safe way to feel an intimate connection with nature. Over the years, I've gotten a very good glimpse at Alberta wildlife, not in plain sight. And I'm here tonight to share some of these memorable images with you. Remote cameras are often used in national parks to track and monitor wildlife. My own curiosity as to what might be wandering our property, only 60 kilometers west of Calgary, is what got me started on this unique hobby. With 160 acres of heavily treed land and few neighbors nearby, we were pretty certain that animals other than the countless deer and moose we did see must roam our woods. Finding animal tracks gave us clues, but I wanted proof. So in early 2005, after receiving my first trail camera as a gift from my husband, we started down the road of this very addictive hobby. Filled with anticipation, we chose the perfect location to set up my lone little camera. A deer wandered in front, and I was hooked. 13 years later, we have about 30 cameras set up at the property, and we have captured a vast array of animals. Knowing that the pictures we capture are of wildlife just doing their thing with no baiting or attractants is very satisfying as well as educational. Who knew that when it came to a showdown between a fox and a skunk, the skunk wins hands down? <laughs> Who even knew that a fox and a skunk would have reason to be in the same place at the same time? Camera technology has improved over the years. The color photos are now sharper, the batteries last longer, the motion sensor is more sensitive, and the price has dropped. Every once in a while, we capture almost artsy looking photos of wild animals with amazing colors and great composition. Springtime is a favorite time of mine. Lots of animal activity and so many babies. Capturing photos of babies as they grow during the year makes me feel like I'm the new mom. And I get very attached to the families through the photos. But I'm under no illusion that nature is all sunshine and roses. The trail cam show us through their captures that springtime is also a good time for predators to find prey. Sharing my photos on Twitter and Instagram has added a whole new component to my, to my hobby. A community of nature enthusiasts, many of whom are biologists or scientists, are more than willing to answer questions I might have about a camera capture, like this one. I wanted to know if this angle allowed a determination of a male or female on this lynx. It was a male. <laughs> or this one, where I had no clue what Mr. Fox had caught for breakfast. I put the question out there and the answer appeared immediately. Looks like a muskrat. As you can maybe tell, I'm a pretty curious person, and I've learned so much over the years by capturing photos and tracking down answers to my many questions. We often get little critters on the trail cameras as well. Pine marten, skunk, snowshoe, heron, grouse show up often. The abundance of these critters means the medium-sized animals, like fox, coyote, lynx, have a smorgasbord of food choices, although I'm still betting that skunk is no one's first choice. <laughs> Another thing I love about the cameras is how they allow for comparisons. Look at how much weight this guy has gained in a two month period. Pretty amazing. The ability to follow an individual animal through a season and sometimes through the years fascinates me. Like this wolf coming up who first appeared on our cameras in mid 2014. She was easily identifiable by her missing front left leg. The cameras allowed us to watch her for over two years. I was thrilled when she eventually showed up as one of a seven member wolf pack in the fall of 2015. The last picture we got of her was in the fall of 2016. Here's another member of that same wolf pack that was so active in our area during 2016. Logging then took place in the Ghost Valley and the pack disappeared early last year. They did successfully have one pup that we got pictures of starting in the late summer of 2016. I'm crossing my fingers that a new pack will eventually come back now that logging is finished. Trail cameras also help in determining the health of any given species in our area. 
Based on how few bears we see in person while wandering the woods, it would be easy to believe there is not a healthy population out there. And yet, the cameras paint a different picture for us. Sometimes we capture something so unexpected, and it's these kind of pictures that keep me coming back for more. Our area is home to a lot of great gray owls, but seeing one with his prey is pretty special. This fellow stood in front of the camera on top of his vole for a number of pics, finally picking it up in his beak, looking directly at the camera one last time, and then <laughs> flying off. <laughs> Trying to pick a favorite capture from 13 years of photos is difficult, but this cougar and her babies look closely ranked pretty high up. When the mom cougar showed up in the fall of 2016 with two babes, I was thrilled. My initial concern over such tiny kittens going into the winter was soon laid to rest as we captured pictures of the family growing and thriving during 2017. I was surprised once again this March when Mama Cougar appeared with a new set of cubs. This time, there were three. I have no doubt that she will be a wonderful mom and provider to these three, just as she was to her other cubs. She's obviously a great hunter. Another favorite animal to get pictures of is Canada lynx, who often show up in the winter. Good photos of lynx in the summertime, however, are rare. This beauty decided to sit down directly in front of the camera and pose for a few frames. I've actually been lucky enough to see lynx in person at our property, a truly magical and rare experience. But thanks to the cameras, I know these animals are far more active out there than I could ever have imagined. I feel like a modern day trapper. But instead of checking my trap line weekly, I check my cameras weekly. Changing memory cards and batteries is needed. And it feels like Christmas to me every weekend. The anticipation of what critters might have left their photo for us has me as excited as a little girl waiting to unwrap her Christmas morning gifts. This hobby has allowed me to satisfy my intense curiosity about who I share the woods with, as well as fulfill my desire to be a citizen scientist. Discovering all the animals you would not expect to be thriving in the woods so close to Calgary has been a real eye-opener for me. And I certainly hope that you have seen something that you might not have expected to this evening. <laughs>